In terms of the financial modeling, the second approach focused on income statement. The income statement, the first part, look at the uh, operating cost estimation. In the second part, we look at that in non-operating cost estimation. But before we do that, um, forecasting or projection for the cost, and then we need to ask the, what is the rationality? Why we want to do that? What's the motivation? Okay. Now, this really related to uh, what we call the optimization or the efficiency of operation. And economy of scale, it's the very important uh, concept that to embed in the financial modeling. So, so what is the economy of scale? Economy of scale basically is talking about optimization. All right. So economy of scale is the, the optimum scale or the size of the operation that can uh, achieve the optimum profitability. All right. So that is the, the, the best solution there is to let the operation reach to a certain level of the scale. That's the reason why we have so many in today's uh, in today's business, to reach the economy scales, you need a huge amount of capital investment and also a lot of expansion for um, the retail sales. So let's talk about the concept of uh, economy scale first. Here we look at that two types of the operation. One is more like a manufacturing type of operation. So the economy scales address on production the cost of production. Another type of a business, which is non-manufacturing, non non and then we look at that, um, the cost is not a just a, not a production because there's no really a, a, a physical production there. And we look at that different aspect. For example, the, the service production or the inventory of finished goods. That is embedded all summarized in the cost of goods sold. So here, uh, I'm sum I summarize that the, 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 the condition to determine economy scale based on these two categories is from the manufacturing side and from the um, service part of in, in, uh, industry. For manufacturing, okay, and the major cost is the production cost here. The production cost if the sales increase and the production costs decrease, then we say that uh, the firm had economy scale. What type of a cost decrease? We here we talk about the average cost, but also you may consider the economy 101 we learned before, the marginal cost and the marginal revenue concept. We all know that the firm reached the optimum uh, structure for production is when the marginal cost equal to the marginal revenue. So any additional sales, all right, if additional sales increase, then if you have economy scale, then it should have a decrease in any additional product cost. So the cost of production on the margin or on average should decrease as the sales increase, the revenue increase. Otherwise, there's some problem there. The cost may not be controlled. The sales may not be the true sales. So the marginal cost, marginal revenue, that structure actually will reflect to, reflect by the operating margin, which is operating profit margin. Now, if the economy skill really truly reach by decreasing marginal costs and, and mar increased marginal revenue by that optimum position, then you can see that as the uh, production volume increase, the volume increase, not necessarily the value, the, tr the revenue increase, the volume increase, then the profit margin should actually higher, should be higher. So it is a positive correlation between the operating profit margin and the volume sales. That ratio, if it's a positive, and the change of ratio is positive, then indicating the firm is in the uh, approaching to the optimum position of economy scale. All right. 
Now, on the other hand, if you look at that, the um, non-manufacturing firm is semi-dear. We look at that, the sales as compared to the cost. Instead of the production cost, we look at the cost of the sold. So as the sales increase, revenue increase, semi-dear, economy scale exists, then the average cost of goods sold or should be lower. Okay, should be lower. This is the same idea with the marginal cost and marginal revenue, and but extended to the average cost of goods sold. Now the another one is the cost of goods sold can also reflect I mean, some of the company cost of goods sold some type of inventory and so on for maybe just resale the product. Uh, but some of the serve, uh, company does not have the inventory, and we, we look at that. It is not a, a very general cost. It's a selling gen, uh, a selling general and administrative expenses as GNA, as GNA. Don't overlook that. Had a huge impact on revenue. Okay, so we look at that ratio is. Now, if we look at the ratio of SGA, SGNA uh, to the sales or revenue, if this ratio actually decline as the sales increase, then the firm reached to their economy scale. Okay, so this is the basic idea, right? When you look at, about the economy of scale, truly you're comparing sales and the cost, all right? The cost, additional cost or average cost decrease as the sales increase, the value, not only the, incre the, value, the volume increase or the total amount of revenue increase. And this is a very basic rule for economy of scales.